What? Okay, so this game was leaked by Nintendo and then released within the span of 24 hours. Like, what? Anyways, this is a sequel to a Nintendo 3DS game. And it's a Kirby fighting game. It's a bit of a childhood dream come true. I mean, who hasn't wanted to pick a Kirby power and then just duke it out with someone else? Now being honest, this game is fabulous. However, I feel like they could have been a little more oomph. The roster is really solid and the combat is perfect for Kirby. It's almost as simple as a one button fighting game. You press A to jump, B to attack, L to dodge, and Y to grab. It's the very basics of a fighting game. So it's got your basic fighting game core as well as modes. It's fun! How's the online? On the low, better than Smash. Fighting it out solo or as a team with a random person online or with friends is simple and fun. My only criticism is that you can't team up locally and go online. Like dude, I have a brother and nothing is quite as fun as going online with him and beating up kids. Regardless, it's solid. Now for local modes, there's the story mode and it's pretty darn good. That is except for one glaring problem and that is filler. So you start off only being able to access the first five floors of the tower. Once you beat that, you gain access to floor 10. But you have to start from the first floor again. And you know, that's that's not that bad. That That's fair, you know. You're starting over. You know, it, it's fine, it's fine. But the thing is, you have to do that four more times and it goes all the way up to floor 50. And it just gets very repetitive. Like the first time it wasn't so bad, the second time it wasn't so bad. By the third and fourth time, it was starting to get boring. But I will say, it, it got better by the fifth time, knowing it was the last time, and the extra challenge it provided, I found it really fun. Like, look at it like this, you know? You gain access to the tenth floor, you start over from the first floor, and then, sometime later, you know, you beat the thirtieth floor. And then what comes after that? Oh look, the fortieth floor! Like, dude! The game is fun, but man, it could have been paced a little less tediously maybe cut down the amount of chapters from 5 to 3. My last problem with it is, at least in the easier levels, is that you end up spending more time loading into the game and in menus than you do actually playing the game. The rounds will end in like 3 seconds, just like in a flash. And of course this becomes less and less of a problem as you get to the harder and harder floors, but hey, it's still something to think about. The second local mode is single player only, and you know, there's nothing I like more than having a nice, casual Kirby experience. Right? <laughs> Wrong! This game just destroyed me on hard mode. You can't cheese enemies and turn off your brain. If you don't adapt to the game's mechanics, you're just gonna be stuck in purgatory. It's a good challenge and is genuinely a great addition to the game. What kind of fighting game is a fighting game without a roster? The roster is surprisingly diverse, and what I mean by that is Bruh, it's like 90% Kirby, bruh. But it doesn't feel like it! There's 22 characters, and yes, a lot of them are pretty run-of-the-mill for your typical Kirby game powers, with the attacks being simple. However, they managed to stand out visually, and offered an extreme level of choice. As for the buddy characters, they all control well and have fun movesets. You have Gooey, King Dedede, Meta Knight, Magalore, and Bandana Waddle Dee. Now balance wise, there could uh, there could be... Uh, it could be a bit more desired. Painter is powerful, as well as Ninja. Meta Knight's super strong. And then what? What even is Gooey? No, seriously, what even is Gooey? What is he? I don't get it. Oh, okay. So, all in all, is Kirby Fighters worth $20? Well, I'd say it's up to you. For me, I got my money's worth. It's a replayable, challenging Kirby fighting game. The initial repetition of the tower climb might be a bit of a turnoff for a few, but I think everything else makes up for it. When you get to that fifth chapter of the tower climb, it's a blast and a good challenge. All in all, I was able to beat the game in a couple of hours, and I got a lot of fun from it. Furthermore, I think that...